Nelson Mandela Bay, which was declared a hot spot in the country, has seen significant decrease in the infection rate. Despite these lower numbers, the death rate is on the rise. The municipality has contingency plans to tackle this challenge. We've got about 2,311 deaths since March uh, uh, last year. And uh, there has been an, an increase, but uh, we do have capacity in terms of our burial sites as well as our crematoriums. They are currently managing the deaths in uh, Nelson Mandela Bay. We have enough burial space. It's only in Malaba, yeah, in uh, the northern areas, where we are running out, running out of land, a uh, burial uh, space. But we are doing an assessment to ensure that we uh, extend th that ground there so that we have more burial space. Earlier this week, the Premier of the province said more research will be conducted on the high number of deaths. Uh, these have been uh, attributed to the challenge of comorbidities. Most people that were losing uh, are people who have uh, comorbidities. It's not just people that were losing so easy. But uh, as we indicated uh, in the last briefing that we have also asked our local universities, uh, particularly those that are also in the medical uh, science space, to help us dig deep. We need more empirical evidence around this so that uh, we don't just continue uh, making it as easy as that is an issue of comorbidities but clearly we have not lost people uh, who have no comorbidities so we have seen how vicious this virus is. The Buffalo City Municipality has also indicated that they have the situation under control. The Metro says interventions taken during the first wave ensured that there is enough burial land for their population. Kim Daniels, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.